Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. We are back with my girlfriend, Grayson, and we are going to do another girlfriend tag. We are doing an updated version two and a half years later. Yeah, it's one of the most viewed videos on my channel, so we're giving the people what they want. I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Included some new- oh. oh, I just kicked the camera. A lot of the questions are the same, but obviously, because it's been two and a half years later, our answers are going to probably be quite different. Um, I did trinkle in some, trinkle, is that the word? Sprinkle? I sprinkled some extra questions in for you guys, but pause this one, go watch the original one, and then come back to this because I feel like it'll be really cute. Have you, when was the last time that you saw that video? Like when I uploaded it? Yeah, and then when you played it earlier today. Well, you saw like 0.5 seconds of it, so that's it? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for this? All right, cheers. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like I had something else to say. Oh, don't, don't. Like and subscribe. Do it. And remember. <laughs> and remember, guys. <laughs> and remember, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. You should really go do that, though. Subscribe. Subscribe. Did you hear that? No, it's from my like, cousin's room. Thanks, baby. I really yeah. can't figure it out. Grayson is here for 10 days. Um, so I just really thought that we would film another video for you guys because I said that I was going to a little while ago and I never did. So here we are. Here we okay. First question. How long have we been together? Wow. Three years, 11 months, almost. Almost four years. I love how you have to like, you can't just say almost four years. No. Like, yeah, four years next month. <laughs> when and where did we meet? I feel like this is just the same Easy peasy. answer. Um, Orlando. No, we have to give them the whole spiel. Yeah, so we went to the same high school together and we had mutual friends. We did share. We had so many similar, I'm like, I got this. <laughs> mutual friends. It. Shared the same best friend at one point. Like I knew Abby was my best friend's other's best friend. I just, we never hung out. Abby helped run the fashion shows. I performed in them musically. Like, I didn't was, run the fashion shows. You helped. I think I choreographed one dance. That's helping run, that's helping. Okay. Um, well. And you were in fashion and I was in fashion and we were both there. I don't, I don't want to take credit though for that because there were other girls who worked <laughs> hard. I know this was like almost 10 years ago, but like I just want Don't to worry, I don't think you're taking too much credit for the high school fashion show from these ladies. <laughs> and did not meet in high school, but we're very close um, to meeting, but actually met in Orlando, Florida in college. Oh, uh, okay. I don't want to do Because of the questions you have on there. <laughs> I, I know. We're getting have to get through it. really detailed on things. Yeah, you're gonna have to edit all this up so what I'm saying I is know, more than I thing. know, it's gonna be a fing shit show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish. Go watch the, the last one Does it to say get the in full there? answer. Are we sure? Yes, we say all of it. I'm getting really. <laughs> I don't wanna explain this anymore. You need to get a napkin. <laughs> Can you go? You're like, you have a better. I'm using your towel. My towel? Yep. Why? <laughs> so cute. Sorry. I just, I can see this already being a disaster to edit. You All got right. me off my mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Okay, we have a lot of questions to do. She's hot. What did you first notice about each other? The first thing I noticed about Grayson was, well, I thought you were beautiful, of course, but, but oh, I definitely noticed that she had the longest hair I'd ever had ever seen. Can I answer you. now? Yes, you can <laughs> answer. First thing I noticed is you were so pretty. You got a perfect little face. Oh, you're so Every feature beautiful. You see, you're so sweet and I feel bad for mine. Oh my god. Second thing I noticed. That booted. You discovered it, I oh. guess. But then also Hold on. What? It keeps like auto focusing. It was it's like, okay. It's okay. I've never had a problem with this. It's just okay. It's okay. And then so hi, um, I'm editing this video and girlfriend was right. She was right. 
and I should have listened to her, but instead I was being stubborn and I was like, it's fine, but it wasn't fine, was it? It's not fine. So a good chunk of this video, the camera is doing this weird autofocus thing. It does eventually get better, but I'm really sorry. Who first asked the other out? Well, it's a complicated situation. I don't remember. I was the one that messaged Grayson first, but Grayson originally thought that I was just messaging mm. her to like hang out. And I remember I asked her like, yeah, we should hang out sometime. And she thought like just as friends. So she said, yeah, girly, maybe by the pool or something. Yeah. And I like- Friend zoned her on accident. You thought I was straight. I thought she was a straight person, yeah. And then literally like six months later, right? It was a long time mm -hmm. after. Um, yeah. Like six months later, I think when I first messaged you, you were just getting out of a relationship. I was emotionally unavailable for everybody. Yeah, and Abby is smart and completely put the ball in my court because I was the one, my school was a little more intense. So she was like, you let me know. And since I just was emotionally unavailable, I never, I never let anybody know what was going on. And then Mom. I get a message at 3 a.m. on Instagram from Abby Fisher. Months later. I was out with my friends and I was drunk and I was like, I'm just gonna message her. Well, yeah, shout out to all the people who were involved. In that <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a message at three in the morning that I saw, I woke up and saw but didn't respond. So like I responded in the morning and it was three in the morning and it said, when are you gonna ask me for my number? And it was a little more assertive and that was the push I needed. So that's when I reached out and was like, what's your number girl? Mm -hmm. That's right. Who was the first to say I love you? I'm trying to decide if I want to like retell this story. No. No, it's the same. Go watch the original. When is your anniversary? Go ahead. September 20th, 2019. What is your girlfriend's fave TV show? Oh, easy. New Girl. The Office. Mm hmm. So, The Office? Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah. Loves it. What's one food I don't like? Caramel. Yeah, good job. And broccoli for you. Mm -hmm. I remembered this one. Uh, what's one thing I do that annoys you? Oh. So in the last girlfriend tag, I said that when you like don't put the cheese it box away or something. Yeah. Something like that, which you've gotten so much better about putting your stuff away. Trying to oil, girl. <laughs> um, you said that I'm impatient. Hey, I've you got better with your patience. Yeah. So now what would um, you say? I'm trying to think. You want to know what it is? You would kill me if I wipe my hands on your towel or something like that that touches your face, you know. Yeah. It has to be clean or if I wipe something. But you have <laughs> zero problem. You mean like, ugh, what is this? <laughs> On either me or my <laughs> damned towel. Because when I love it. We have the same facial sensitivities. <laughs> I don't I don't love it, Abby. I just love you. I do be selfish like that sometimes. <laughs> but at least I'm aware of it. Uh, <laughs> um what annoys me about you. Yeah, why don't you let me know? About you. Let me choose one. <laughs> Rude. One thing that annoys me about you is that, like, you're, um, you're really bad at remembering things. You're not as slow as you once were, like physically, like if we're running out the door and she's just taking her, her good old time. She's just enjoying life. She's taking it all in. Oh, morning person or night person? Night. Morning. It's become even more of those things. Of those things. Yeah. I, I got better with my sleep schedule getting up earlier, but I'm just so cranky every single morning. Yeah. Grayson reminds me of Eeyore. From Winnie the Pooh in the morning. Yeah. She's like Tigger. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. When was our first kiss? On um, first date. Baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
that's all we'll say. First date. That's all that happened. First date. Now, second date. <laughs> Just kidding. Who's my favorite music artist slash band? Coldplay. Yeah. Billie Eilish. Still true. I really just listen to everything. I know, but it's for sure Coldplay and Billie Eilish are two of your favorite artists. <laughs> okay, for <laughs> you. That's probably not what it used to be. I know. Is it Beach House? Mm-hmm. That's good. And and definitely one of them is Beach House. Billie Eilish, Peach Pit. Ah, you used to listen to a lot of them. I love Peach Pit. We just love music. We listen to everything. Mm-hmm. Who came out first? Me, me, Still me. Still She came out like 2017. A few years before me, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, 2017. Two years before me. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Who are you doing those two years? Um, how much PDA do we do? This has changed Ooh. drastically. That sounds like we like don't touch each other. <laughs> we'll still hold each other's hands and stuff, but I think we were a little bit excessive. We about just matured. It. We realized you don't have to be all over each other twenty four seven to prove your love, you know. Yeah. Also, you just date someone for a long time. You still love them the same amount, but you know how to like control it more. And, yeah. You know. We're like doing our own thing, and I can look at you across the room and know that you still like love me, you know. Yeah. And vice versa, and we don't need to be physically touching each other all the time. Although, I do love physically touching you because that's one of my love languages do we live together no not anymore i was living with her and her parents when we first did when we did the other girlfriend tag but we are long distance sadly i am in school full time yeah. and we are very sad about it as you can <laughs> tell we're very depressed about it and grayson lives in northern virginia yep with her sister. With her sister. My sister. Very funny girl. You but guys soon. will see her one day. Oh my gosh, I would love to have Brayden on. Oh my god. Have you ever experienced any discrimination because you're a same sex couple? Not really. It seems like people behind our backs have a lot to say, but or like on the internet, but I feel like literally every single person we've come in contact with that loves us and like knows us, they're they don't treat us any differently. But when we're just like holding hands, I guess, out in public, we definitely do get a lot of stares. Who's more likely to cook? I love cooking. What is your girlfriend's best physical feature? Oh. I can't choose between like your eyes and your lips. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like my butt or something. I can't choose between your eyes and your hands. <laughs> Mm. So I love your eyes. They're so beautiful. Oh, love. That's what I I would say. Or your lips. My my leg. Oh, you cramping up? <laughs> Quick, get him up. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a better sense of humor? I don't know. We're both really funny. But uh, I'm really funny. Uh, yeah, you're pretty funny. <laughs> Abby's might be the queen of like voices and different people inside of. Is it your girlfriend outgoing or more reserved? My girlfriend is an introvert extrovert where she needs to be alone in order to recharge and you like your alone time like more than anything but you are very much like a social butterfly and outgoing and you're so loving with everyone when you're actually like out. I would say you're the same way. You're literally so good with people. You're never like awkward or anything, but I don't think you prefer that at all. I think you prefer either just your select few people you're very comfortable with or like- Yeah, I'm very introverted and I like that. I used to like be a little bit insecure about it because I'm like, oh, I just wish I was more outgoing, but people kind of just exhaust me sometimes, you know? You know how it is? But like I exhaust myself too. I have like a small circle of friends and that's how I like it. Whereas someone like your sister has 50 million bajillion quadrillion friends that mm -hmm. she, and I could never do that. And I think that's just, it's just people are different. It's wild, but you have a lot of friends as well, but you also like have a tight knit of like close friends. Yeah. yeah. But you have a lot of acquaintances. Well, I, I guess do. we both have a lot of acquaint acquaintances. But Which is good though. Yeah. But my arm looks really weird here, huh? 
Look at it. I feel like I'm, we've been in such weird angles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your girlfriend's best personality trait? Ooh, how sweet you are. You're so sweet um, to me. I would say, like, honestly, your outgoingness is like, you are just so outgoing mm. and you're like sunshine, you're like a little bright light. Is there anything about your girlfriend you think most people don't know? Um. Mm. How weird and funny you are. That's what you said on the last one. It's still true. Yeah. I feel like I've let that show a little bit more. You have, but over the I feel like the true weirdness that lives inside of you. That is only reserved for you to mm -hmm. see no one else. People would be surprised at how, and this is not a bad thing, it's how sensitive I you are. I was literally just thinking that. Yeah, how sensitive you are. And did I say that in the last one? I Probably. I'm very Yeah, sensitive. I think I did. Very I think, emotional. Yeah, you're very emotional, very sensitive, and very sweet. Um, well, people know that, but like, uh, you're just very sensitive. It's just really endearing. Thanks. You're very sweet. And the last question. Pass on one piece of relationship advice. You go first. I feel like I want to do a whole video about this with you. Because we're at a point where I feel like we have some good advice. That's true. But I would say still number one is like i feel like i say this a lot but it's literally communication <laughs> it's still communication especially because we're long distance it's like extra crucial you have to communicate and also set aside time even though you can't physically be with each other too you have to set aside time to like, spend time with each other whether that's facetime or calls or whatever it is. We do Instagram video chats where we'll like watch a movie yeah. and we like act like we're on a date because that's like what we have to do in order to, you know, keep our relationship going. Yeah. But that's like long distance stuff. I think just in general with any relationship, you need to communicate. Even the stuff that's hard to talk about. You can't, you can't push things down. You really can't. You, yeah. you have to talk about your feelings. Yeah. I would say communicate also and we, have, we say this to each other a lot. Remember your love is stronger than any fight you're going to have or any disagreement. So during those disagreements and fights <laughs> I feel vulnerable. <laughs> during those it. disagreements and fights you got to remember that your love is stronger than whatever you guys literally aren't having the same opinion on and that mm -hmm. you just gotta talk it out, work it out, you know, still yeah. respect each other during those moments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is that our is video. video. Thanks for Thanks watching. watching. Thanks for <laughs> watching. <laughs> like and that subscribe. Can subscribe. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. And we're excited <laughs> to do this again in another two years. I'm so excited to see how our life is going to be different. I hope I hope it's different because I can't be doing this yeah. long distance anymore. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be different. Oh my. See ya in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys.